Number five is hell is not separation from God. And I kind of already mentioned that, but I just wanted to show you a couple of verses. Um, in Revelation 14, Verse 9, because you'll read this on a lot of gospel tracts where people will say, oh, you know, you'll be eternally separated from God. Hell is separation from God. And they'll say that's what makes hell so bad because God is not there. But that's not what makes hell so bad. What makes hell so bad is not that God is not there and there's just this burning and longing for God's love that you can't, can't get anymore. The reason why hell is so hot and hell is so bad is because God is there. And you're there in the presence of God as a sinner not saved by the grace of God. Um, look at what it says here in Re Revelation 14. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his, right, or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, his hatred, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, Look at this, in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. And the smoke of their torment ascendeth up forever and ever, and they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image, and whosoever receiveth the mark of his name. So we see here the people that take the mark of the beast, and again, these are men, right? So hell is not total annihilation because these people are being tormented day and night forever and ever. So their, their torment will continue in the lake of fire. Um, and it says here that they're tormented in the presence of the holy angels, verse 10, and in the presence of the Lamb. So it's not that they're apart from God, that they're separated from God. They're being tormented in His presence. Let's just go back to uh, first Thess uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 real quick as well. And we read this just then, but it says here in verse 9, "...who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. Note here, it doesn't say away from the presence of the Lord and away from the glory of His power, which is a lot of what a lot of people think that's what it says. It says, no, the everlasting destruction comes from the presence of God and from the glory of His power. It's the fact that you are in His presence and in His glory as a sinner that you are burning in hell. Psalm 139. Look at what the Bible says here. Whither shall I go from thy spirit? Or whither shall I flee from thy, thy presence? Whither is to where? So to where shall I go from thy spirit? Or to where shall I flee from thy presence? If I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. And look at this. And if I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. See, God is everywhere. You can't escape God. You don't go to hell and you're separated from God. You're in hell with God, being tormented by God, and that's a pun your punishment for your sin and for rejecting the Lord Jesus Christ, rejecting the Savior. So Psalm 139 is very clear that you can't flee from God's presence. Where are you going to go to fl flee from God? You go into heaven, He's there, and if you go to hell, He's there as well. So hell is not separation from God.